Welcome to the Money, Mindset and Miracles podcast, helping you to grow predictable and scalable months of income from your business as gracefully as possible. I'm Rachel Smith, business coach, mindset expert, speaker and the founder of the 5K Club. If, like me, you run your business January to December, I always take time in December to review my entire year in business. In this, I look at the highs and the lows as I'm looking to extract out all of the key lessons from the past 12 months of business. And this means that I can use these lessons to further grow my business in the next 12 months and to make sure that I don't keep repeating any mistakes and that I also identify any patterns that are occurring for me that are sabotaging my efforts, that are keeping me small. This is essential work for you and your business and this review will ensure that you and your business keep evolving to meet the needs of your audience and you keep adapting to the outside changes in the world your ideal client's priorities and any big trends happening in your field of expertise. I also use this review to gather and inform two important areas of my business, which are how much growth have I generated in the past 12 months? And is my current business in alignment with who I am and what I'm looking to achieve in my business? So often we can get stuck in the doing, the action taking, that we can start to build something that isn't in alignment with who you are and how you want to show up in the world. In essence, you might realise that you've outgrown certain offers or platforms or even clients. And as your business grows, you want to be able to identify those areas where you want to be investing in some additional help and expertise to further support your growth so you don't become burnt out or overwhelmed with doing everything on your own in your business. After completing this review, my next step is always to get really clear on these three key areas that are going to help me to have that growth, have that expansion that I'm looking for in the next 12 months. The first one is my why. This is, you know, really returning back to why am I in business? What is my purpose? What is my passion? What is my reason to be running my business for me and my audience? And what do I want to be known for in the coming 12 months? At this point of the year, I really like to reconnect with my why because I really want to like reignite that fire in my belly for my business, for my clients, for myself. And I really want to be coming back in January, having that firmly cemented in that, you know, I'm here for a reason. The second area that I look at, and I love this, this is my favourite area, is my vision. Because I'm such a visual person, I like to have a really, just a brilliant vision. You know, people make all sorts of different visions, but for me, it's just about writing down everything that I want to be, do and have in the next 12 months. I want to be able to future pace myself and see myself in my business, in my life, having the growth and expansion that I desire. I want to be really clear about how I want to work in my business, the offers that I want to be putting out there, who I want to work with, how I want to work with, who's going to support me in that. And I also, because I'm a a parent, I want to look at how does my business fit in with my family's priorities? Now, how do I find the time, the energy and the income to go and have adventures with my family members? So I'm really looking at having a vision with a real sense of anything and everything is possible. And 12 months is such a short period of time, but you can really create a lot of magic in that. Um, and then once I've got this vision, and for me, I like to write it down, you know, I really love to get just a pen and a piece of paper and just write it down and really have like this moment where I'm like, right, January is coming. What am I all in for? You know, if I'm going to sit at this desk four days a week, putting the time, and the effort that I put into it, if I'm going to invest um, additional income into this business, if I'm looking to work with my clients, it's got to be something that is in complete alignment with me that I'm excited for and that I have this unshakable belief that I can achieve this. And once I've got this vision, I use it in all sorts of different ways. I come back to it, I repeat it, I tweak it, I celebrate the results that I've achieved. Um, I use it as a visualisation aid. I use it in journaling prompts. It's all about 
creating that kind of fire, that passion in my business. And it's also that a level of understanding that everything that I've achieved to date in my business has been created from how I think and feel right now. And I understand as a mindset expert that in order for you to step up, in order for you to achieve different results, you need to think and feel differently. And this is the first part of it. For me, when you you have this vision and you can use it, you can use it in visualizations or journaling, what you're actually doing is you're creating new neurological pathways in your brain so that you automatically start to step up and you automatically start to say yes to opportunities that will really help you to bring your um, vision into your reality and it really allows you to evolve as well. And the third and final part of this is my growth strategy and all of the other two stages are absolutely essential but without this final step of having a growth strategy nothing would happen would it you have to couple you know how you think and feel to your actions and from all the years of expertise and experience that I've had of running a business and helping hundreds of women create growth and expansion in their own business is that I want to be really thinking about my growth strategy for me I want to make it as easy as possible for me to grow for me to step up for me to shine and for me to serve my audience so I'll be thinking at this point you know what is the easiest way for me to achieve my goals and I want to be incorporating all of those things all of those brilliant things that have happened in the past 12 months that I want to do more of in the following 12 months And here, at this point, even though we're still looking at growth, we're looking at your business models, your offers, your pricing, you're looking at your key marketing um, messages, all of those things that are important and you really want to be having a 12-month plan with a, you know, certainly the first six months kind of planned out so you can see what's coming up. But for all that this is quite the practical, masculine kind of energy that we're getting into here, um, there is still part of me that comes back to something that is essential and essential ingredients for this growth strategy. And that is about ensuring that my key values as an individual are incorporated into that growth strategy. And I understand that my key values are like fun, joy, as well as um, very nurturing, passionate, creative, connections really important to me. And I am really ambitious. So how do I incorporate all of those values into my business? And, you know, if you look at the nurturing and the connection point, this really comes out in all of my offers. You know, I either work one-to-one with people or in really small, intimate groups where we do powerful work. And I, even though I love working from home, I love nothing more than a day working from home in comfy clothes, I absolutely love connection as well connection in person but also using that creative value as well where I'm always looking at creative ways that I can really deepen that connection with my clients and really deepen their experience and really help them to get the results that they're looking for so I hope that's given you some ideas about how you could create your own review of your business over the last 12 months you can make it like a little ritual like some candles um, you know, put some low level music on, but just make it this most beautiful experience where you are open to receiving all of the lessons that you need to receive the good and the bad. And then you start that forward piece as well. You really start to think about stepping up into your business, evolving and having a really expansive vision for you, your business and your clients as well. And I have two key resources here for you that you can use that's really going to get you into that kind of thinking and feeling piece as well as you go through this is that down in the show notes, I'll leave the links to these, but I've got my hypnosis recording that I specially created for women who are looking to step up in their business and make more money. So it's my wealth and abundance hypnosis recording that is amazing to really complement that visionary piece, you know, really getting you into 
creating unshakable belief that you can achieve the dreams of, that you want to and the vision that you've got. And then the second resource is a um, kind of instant watch pre-recorded masterclass where I'm going to show the exact strategy that you can use to add an additional 9k every single month into your business. So if you're here in the next 12 months to really step up in your business and really step into expanding and growing and you're ready for that kind of next step, this is a brilliant 30 minute pre-recorded masterclass that you can go and watch and start to implement those ideas and strategies into your own growth strategy. As ever, I would love to know your biggest takeaways from today's podcast episode. Drop me a note in the comments below. I read every single one of them. And if you haven't already subscribed to this podcast, I would love for you to do so as well. Until next time, keep growing your awesome business. Lots of love. Bye for now.